to Live at Five. Uh, thanks for joining us as, again, we continue our journey through the book of Psalms, and we're hitting several of them. Um, where we're at right now is we're in Psalm 23. We're just taking some time to go through Psalm 23 because it's such a great psalm. And so what we've done is we've looked at how the Psalm 23 is, of course, written by David. And it's about the, the life of a shepherd and his sheep. It, it kind of talks about life as it goes through. Uh, the last time I was with you on Thursday, we talked about going through dark valleys. We saw that refer to trials and tough times that we all go through. Now, in verse 5 of Psalm 23, David gives us three word pictures. And they're, and they're cool word pictures that he gives. Uh, again, he's, he's, he's remembering his life as a shepherd. And he's showing how, how that life was just like the life that we live. And our shepherd, of course, is Jesus Christ. Come with me to Psalm 23, verse 5. It says this, You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The first word picture that he gives is it says you prepare a table for me. Now, when I think of a table, I think of Thanksgiving. I think of all family members getting together and we set the table and the kids sit here and the grown-ups sit here and then, and then we have a, a, a great array of food. That's not what it's talking about here. What it's talking about is table lands. See, what David is remembering is uh, back in the day when he was a shepherd, uh, when it got very hot during the summertime, the grass would burn up. And so the shepherd had to take his sheep on a journey. And so they would uh, go to the table lands, which was higher up in, uh, up in the hills where the, where the, uh, the grass was green and, and plenty of water and it was a little cooler. But in order to get there, they had to go through the dark valleys. And so, but once they got to the table lands, the shepherd would go before the sheep and he would prepare this land for them. He would uh, remove any type of stagnant water. He would remove anything that was dangerous to the sheep in order for, so the sheep could be there and they could be there safely. You know, when I think of that, I think of how Jesus has prepared us a table land. And by that, I mean this. Before we were ever born, Jesus Christ made a way that you and I could come to salvation. Of course, that's through his son. That's through Jesus uh, accepting Christ as our savior. Uh, he also prepared a way for us to get right with him. You know, I think we all have, uh, as sheep, have wandered off and gotten sideways in our walk with the Lord. But Jesus made a way so that we could always come back. We have a God that is full of mercy and grace and loves to have us come back home to him. Also, he prepared works for us to do. Ephesians 2.10 talks about this. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 are very, very important verses on salvation. Then you come to Ephesians 2, 10, it talks about after we're saved, that we have all of these works that, uh, that God has prepared beforehand that we should work in them. So just like the shepherd prepared the table land, the sheep, our Savior, has prepared our table land, if you will. The second picture that David gives, it says, you anoint my head with oil. Now what that's talking about is back in the day when sheep would be out and about and there'd be all sorts of flies. And these flies would be buzzing around their head. Well, what happened is these flies would go up in their nostrils and they would, uh, they would lay their eggs there. And of course, these eggs would hatch and then they'd be run all through um, the head of the, of the sheep all through the nasal passages and just driving the sheep crazy. In fact, the sheep would be seen banging their head against rocks and trees to get the, get the buzzing and get these things uh, stopped from crawling through their, their uh, nasal passages. And so what the uh, shepherd would do is he would take oil and he would make a uh, insect repellent, if you will. And he would put this all over the sheep's head and uh, it would protect the sheep. Um, for many of these insects. And in fact, they say the sheep could be standing there with all these flies flying around and uh, not be touched by any of them. You know, it's the same thing with us, brethren. Um, sometimes we get unrepentant sin in our lives. And 
that if we don't deal with it, it will just continue to bother us and bother us and bother us. And we need the oil of the shepherd. We need that special oil, that special oil of forgiveness and getting right and, and repenting of our sin, and getting right with God again. And when he does that, then we can just stand there and, uh, and all sorts of sins and stuff can be flying around us and we're okay because we're walking with the Lord. Also, this oil was used for, um, for wounds. As we go through life, we're gonna be wounded. We'll be wounded by friends, we'll be wounded by family. And uh, same thing with sheep. Sheep would be wounded as they lived their lives. They'd fall down or, or get bitten by a scavenger or something like that. And, and that this oil was used to heal those wounds. It's the same thing with us. Our Lord wants to heal our wounds. We go through life, we're gonna get wounds. And our Savior there is there to heal those wounds, to make us healthy, to make us spiritually healthy, healthy so that we can go on. The last word picture is, is one of my favorites. It says, my cup overflows. Back in that culture, um, if I would come to your house and uh, what would happen is you would give me a glass of Mountain Dew. And as long as you kept on filling that glass of Mountain Dew, I was welcome. I was welcome to stay. But once you stopped filling that glass, it was time for me to leave. And so this is what he's talking about, but he adds a twist to it. If I would come to your house and you'd get the, the bottle of Mountain Dew and you would pour it and you would pour it and my cup would overflow, what that meant is this, is I could stay as long as I wanted to and that I was a very, very special guest of that owner of that house. And this is what David is telling us here is this, is you and I are very special to the Lord. And you know what? He wants us to stay with him. He wants us to be with him. He wants us to be with him through eternity. And so what he does is he fills our cups and he fills it overflowing, which means that we're very special to him and that, and that he wants us to stay with him. These three word pictures just kind of, for me, just kind of give me the heart of who our God is. We have a great God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your song. Thank you for these three word pictures you give us. And Father, let us remember these things. So many times life gets us going and, and we forget about these things. But Father, thank you. Thank you for giving us these word pictures. And Father, help us stay close. And Father, thank you that we are always welcomed in your house and that we can always, always stay as long as we want. Again, thank you for Jesus. In Christ's name, amen. Hey, thanks for joining us. I hope to see you Monday. Again, have a great weekend and uh, hopefully I'll see you at church. Thanks.